Some ideas are too good to stay flat. With figuro.io, shapes pop up to life right in your browser. No downloads, no waiting, and no account needed. This website is all about turning those ideas into 3D creations, exploring wild concepts, and seeing what is possible when imagination meets a simple set of tools. So in this tutorial, I will show you a complete beginner tutorial of how to use the basic tools of figuro.io. So let's get started and click on launch your first design. After landing to this page, you will find this figures that you can start with. So you can choose the figure you want, like cylinder, like cube for example. Then you just need to drag to determine the X and Y axis dimensions. Then the figure will be uh, prepared for you. And if you want to control how this figure will look like, you just need to click on it and a new tools or new options will appear on the left, starting with the move. So in order to move your figure, you can do it by two ways. The first way is to just drag the gizmo right like this to control how it will move in the X, Y and Z axis. Or you can just go to the offset and determine where do you want to move it. So you can move it like 100 in the X axis and negative 10 in the Y axis. Now you need to click on OK so that it will be applied to your shape. Next is the scale. And in scale you control the dimensions of your shape. So you can do it the same exact way as we did in the move. You can just drag like this in the respective axis that you want to adjust the scale in or you can just head to the size and choose the amount of enlargement in each of these scales then click on OK so what happened is that I placed X, Y and Z dimensions which were smaller than the original so it has been decreased so let's try other dimensions like this next is the rotation and rotation can be controlled from here either by doing the same deciding the axis like the Y for example then choosing the angle then clicking on OK and it will be rotated or you can just navigate to one of these axes until it turns into the golden color then click on it and start rotating just like that so I'm going to skip a couple of these options because they are not as important as or as basic as the first ones there is also another option which is the mirror which helps you to make a mirror image of your uh, shape in one of the axes let's just return back one step like in the Y axis for example and it will form a mirror in here you can also make slicing to your shape like this so it now is a sliced so if you want to get rid of the smaller part you can choose only keep the largest body then do the same like this and it will just eliminate the smaller ports if you want to keep them you can uncheck this one and do this and now you will be able to move each one of these ports on its own but first you need to choose move and now you will be able to move each port alone like this you can also choose to clone one of these shapes from clone here by choosing the number of clones then choosing the offset of the clone where it will be placed like this and click on apply and now it has been applied in here I just need to remove or to make it in the on the in the negative direction for example so that it will be more obvious just like this so it has been cloned in here and if you want to change the color of any part of your objects you need to choose objects from here then choose the object and choose the color you want then don't forget to click on apply 
So this is basically how easy you can add a shape and control its properties. And that's it for this video guys. So if you're interested in more of how to create 3D content animations and uh, tools, make sure to subscribe to our channel because this is all about our titles and our next videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you in more tutorials. Until then, take care and goodbye.